bed. Love. Bed. Bed. Love. <laughs> beyond. beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Bed Love Beyond, the podcast for the hopeful and the hater in us to discuss sex, love, and whatever's clever with like-minded people like you who are also in limbo with love. Like us. Thank you for listening to us on Podbean, iTunes, Pocket Cast, Stitcher, and Google Play Music. Please rate, review, like, and subscribe to us on any of the devices that you listen to. So this episode is episode 71, His and Hers, and then there's me. The other woman. Oh, hey now. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a two-parter. And, of course, you can see by the uh, title that you're like, what? I never heard of that show before. But, yes, we have the guests. We have guests that are from The Real Side Chicks of Charlotte that's going to be on our show later in the episode. We had the awesome opportunity to interview these ladies. Uh, shout out to Kathy Iondali. And Dove, who and, the the man is the manager of the ladies. Yes, and um, yeah, it was a it was a opportunity that kind of uh, fell on our lap, <laughs> right. and uh, it was definitely an interesting um, ordeal because it was like the pretty much the first time that we done an interview like outside of our little home studio, man. Yeah, <laughs> outside of our little our little nest, and we're like, what? What? This is like the big leagues. What are you talking about? You know, because uh, it was pretty funny because little behind the scenes before we went on to do our interview hot 97 was right before us right so that kind of got me a little amped and kind of nervous too i was like whoa hot 97 is here (laughs) (laughs) i was like are you kidding me right now so so it was pretty crazy oh for those who don't know it's a new york radio station so yeah well like i I keep forgetting we have people who are like outside of our circle who like people like in the netherlands are like who what (laughs) Like, like what is this hot 97 <laughs> yeah 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 exactly so yeah yeah so uh yeah hot 97 is arguably like the number one hip-hop station uh in new york right, right. so um in the world <laughs> just kidding so, so yeah so uh, it was pretty cool that we had that opportunity to do it to so we packed up that. our stuff and we headed to uh nueva york yeah. yep. and uh sat down with these ladies and got the real scoop about the real side chicks of Charlotte. Yes. And I'm sure maybe you guys have seen like memes or the like posters and like the font looks like the same font kind of like the real housewives of whatever's on Bravo. Um, them hoes. But uh, <laughs> shout out to the chicks in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> real housewives of New Jersey. Causing bar fights and overpricing restaurants <laughs> since 1997 um so yeah uh it looks the same so you're not really sure if it's like a like a folly type thing like if it's a joke or you know if it's really happening but uh we're here to tell you that it's really happening it's really going down um they're filming right now is what they told us and uh i don't know i mean this this whole um reality show thing is kind of you know, taking off, like, we kind of edge more on the side of, like, you know, our, our married at first sight, which, by the way, you know. Well, we'll, we'll get into it. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll get into it in a bit. But, but yeah, but the whole, uh, finish, you were finishing your point? No, I'm just saying, like, so the reality show shows are all kind of, like, you know, taking over, in a way, you know, of regular TV. Like, there's no real sitcoms anymore. But, um... As everyone knows, infidelity is alive and well. <laughs> yeah. um, and pe- and people and people love drama. And people know? love drama. Pe- people love drama. So. so I think this show is gonna like fit in perfect with you know, getting ratings and everything else. And um, and it actually gave me like a different perspective of speaking to the woman. You know, because as a female, you're kind of just like always on the defensive. Like, what? Nobody's going to fucking touch my man. I'll stab a bitch. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm Sicilian and from Jersey. We don't play that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, And not that I still don't feel that way. But, um, you know, they have a much different perspective of it. And, uh, you know, I guess like it takes the it takes being like in a certain mind frame. Like we all heard about my married guy story. You know, I had my potential to be a side chick. And uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't even, see. I didn't even. I didn't even think of it that way. Right, and you know, I was thinking back to like the. Remember, I think I might have explained every, to everyone my first date with him, like when I didn't know he was married, obviously. Yeah. And he made me feel like the only person in the room. Right. In in like, 
you know, a, a club setting, a bar club setting. Yeah. And I can just imagine that if you feel like that all the time, because basically they know that they need to show and prove 24 seven, you know, as where your boyfriend sometimes slacks and he's like, oh, I'm tired, babe. You know, he knows that he needs to show and prove 24 seven. Like if you feel like that all the time, it may not be a bad gig. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, once I found out, though, and then there was kids involved, I I personally couldn't do it. But yeah, yeah. You know. I, I get it, I guess. No, no, definitely. And and they did uh, open my eyes uh, a bit because, like you said, you, you obviously know that the situation is wrong. Right. You know, like, well, you're a, you're a side chick to, like, whatever. If it might be a boyfriend or a husband and you're mm-hmm. like, and you already put fault at the at the woman. Right. You know, just like, whoa, like, what, what are you really doing right now? Like, mm-hmm. how do you not know this is wrong? But, but listening to their experiencing the interview and listening to what they had to say there there are two aspects that people don't really like think about there's the ones that uh that don't know that you are a side check that like mm. they don't know they're, they're they're the side check and there's the other ones that like milk the opportunity and like now nah, yeah i am a side check and that's what i want to do and that's I, i'm good this way right you know so we we have to take those two aspects into account right 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 yeah so yeah we're definitely gonna have um we're definitely gonna play the interview for you uh later in the show but but first you know obviously we gotta go through just the meaning of side chick and all that stuff and all the articles and blah 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 but even before that uh we're not even really gonna go into a daily dish because we're really amped we're really amped up about uh man at first sight because our favorite show well uh, Jennifer's favorite show is the SVU, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but our favorite like uh, love show, I guess. Uh, Man at first sight, it ended recently, and um, the and almost fuckers stayed together. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa! And know what? And I and I put it on our Facebook page, and I was like, if all these fuckers stay together, then you need to look at this and say there is hope for my relationship. Because <laughs> wait, what did what did you? <laughs> That's what I said because uh-huh. like. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. So, okay. Um, do you want to go? Whiny ass Sheila and Nate tried to stay together because of God. Sorry, God. Well, not not <laughs> not because of God. It's because be- their faith is stronger than anything else. Anthony and the other one stayed together because they're Italian, and <laughs> and Anthony realizes that he ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. You think that okay, go ahead. And then the other two stayed together. Uh, Daniel and Cody. Daniel and Cody because Daniel's like Cody, probably Daniel. What that fucker name is? Daniel's probably just like, oh, I can't keep living in the past. And he's cute, and we're already married. And I'm gonna give it a try because I don't want to seem like a bitch on TV. But I bet you by next reunion they're not gonna be married. <laughs> so I don't know. Marriage is a serious thing, and since we're talking about side chicks, clearly it's a serious thing because, you know, there's a lot you have to do as a wife to avoid side chicks <laughs> coming into your your marriage. Right. And, like, if you, I mean, granted, Married at First Sight is a reality show, but... But they are real binding they marriages. They are real binding marriages, and if at some point, like, look, if Danielle doesn't put out soon, Cody will find himself a side chick. Mm-hmm. Look at the other last season of Married at First Sight. The uh, the one who was married to no, was it Sonia? Sonia and Nick. Yeah, isn't Nick doesn't isn't Nick pregnant with somebody else already? Oh yeah, yeah, his girlfriend, the yeah. twins. He they only got divorced like what maybe a couple like months ago. Somebody else is pregnant with twins already. There was a side chick someplace. You think so? Bitch, he she was from. But, she but, was like a producer on another show. Of course, it was a side chick. But he, but he, but he was banging Sonya though. Remember, remember when we found out that like they've been having sex all this time yeah. where we thought that they weren't. We're having sex and we're having sex every day is two different things. Okay. They might have had sex at one point, but like you know, like oh maybe sex will make this better because everyone thinks sex makes things better. But you know, <laughs> we're looking at you, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please, can we have sex? <laughs> and then, I don't know. I don't, and then maybe they stopped having sex. And then he was like, oh, I had this side chick thing. But remember, cheating is not necessarily just sex. Oh, right. If he's yeah. giving attention, money, time, any of that to another woman, that's side chickism. 
in my Side chickism. <laughs> <laughs> I made it up. We're using it. In my world, that's what it is. Right, right. Like right. if my boyfriend was, I swear, to God, I'm a stab. Woo. If he was, Woo. <laughs> if he was like, like helping another woman like on the regular with something or yeah you know like maybe like buying her lunch or something let's say it was a chick at work or something yeah he said they're all lesbians he might just be telling that to not upset me but <laughs> <laughs> he's like you're a little crazy no but but do you okay um, I'm, I, that's cheating we're, no we're, we're going down levels because what because what i was just gonna say i was like d- does that matter to you if they're lesbians or not okay let's say if they were lesbians isn't that still Kate doing time with them, like spending time with them, like d- doesn't that still matter? It doesn't matter if they're lesbian or that might be his homie. I mean, I wouldn't want him spending money on her. No, 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 no. Or taking but, time away from this relationship oh, for that. No, no, no. Right? No, but that's what I'm saying. But like, if she's a lesbian and he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna hang out with whatever her face is," and um, I think it's only if it's like intimate and emotions are involved. So that's when it's right. Cheating like, for let's you. say you're married, right, and your husband steps out on you. Just because he steps out with steps out on you with a man doesn't mean that that man's not a side chick, mm-hmm. or a side dude, or whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Infidelity um, is infidelity, Martin. What? Infidelity is infidelity. No, no, I'm not trying to discredit it. I was just trying to say wh- where but your if, like, barrier if it, was. If he's like hanging out with like a lesbian chick, my boyfriend, yeah, then like that's not necessarily cheating if they're just like homies and they're oh, talking yeah. about video games together. A- absolutely. As long as he's not like, yo, sorry, Jen, I can't chill with you today because, you know, Tiffany wants to do something. Tiffany wants to play video games. Fuck Tiffany and her video games. <laughs> that's not happening. Get your ass over here. But is that cheating? Or, or or whatever you said the uh, infidelity side, side side chickism. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Well, gr- it's not that it's not cheating. It's just that you're not like putting your relationship first. Okay. And like I feel like if you want a successful relationship, yeah, you have to. Which is kind of like what the girls when we interviewed them kind of were saying. Like I remember when they were asking you something. They're like, "Oh, was your girl doing everything she was supposed to do?" Yeah. Oh, y'all got y'all got to hear this. It's coming soon, don't worry. So yeah, yo, they try to play me, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like if you're not doing everything for your relationship, somebody else will. Remember Joe? All the things your man won't do. Yes, <laughs> he'll do them for you. Right, right, right. He said it. Right, right, right. But here's the, <laughs> I believe them. No, but okay. But here's the thing, though. Um, should how do I how do I put this? I don't know. Okay. So, so you're saying that if you don't do everything that your man won't do, I mean, whatever. Wants him to, you to do. Yeah, yeah. Then somebody else will, right? Listen, it depends on your man's mentality. In my opinion, like if he is like, I'll do whatever I can to make this relationship work. Yeah. He'll try to do everything he can to make it work. Yeah. But if he's still not fulfilling your needs. Yeah. He will tell you, this is all I've got. Take it or leave it. Yeah. And if you... I guess want to like not be so needy Mm -hmm. then you can accept it and work with what you have with the relationship. But sometimes things like intervene other people. Yeah. And you know, like let's say it's a husband and wife and the husband, like the wife is like, sorry, I can't do X, Y, and Z because I have kids and I have this house to take care of and I'm too tired to fuck you at the end of the night. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Maybe he's like, she's a great mother, she's a great wife, but I still need this. And if he's not okay with needing this and in his head he can't justify leaving, maybe he thinks it's okay to go get it from somebody else. It, and you know what? That's on his morality. That's his like. That's his choice. Because I guess that I guess that is trying to what I'm. I'm not saying that the woman should be like, I'm fucking exhausted. I'm like bleeding out of my face because I took care of these kids, washed and cooked and cleaned and all this other shit. So now let me just wash up so I can make sure that he's got pussy. No, I'm just saying that. Like sometimes you gotta give and take, and if she's not giving, and he takes from somewhere else, it's still on him. But it's not that. It, it's not really necessarily anyone's fault other than you thinking that that's the solution to your to your problem. Right. No, because because, yeah, that was. Yeah, that's essentially where I was kind of like leaning to. But more so, like, isn't there not trust, but like, you know, if we're going out, you know, what I'm saying like that's the. Damn, I'm trying, I can't even. 
explain it, but it's like because it's not in you. Because it's not in you to think like that. Ah, I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to word it together. But it's more so. I, I don't even know. I have, oh, oh, I have a friend, me. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just he got with this girl. Yeah. And he was like messing with some other girl the whole time. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. And he then finally, like, I saw that the other girl was pregnant. And I was like, "Yo, are you got both these girls pregnant?" He was like, "No." He's like, "She must have got pregnant with someone else." I stopped talking to that girl, and I was like, oh, "Okay." And, you know, now he's like living with this girl. They just had the baby. He's like main chick. Yeah, yeah. You know, but he's like, oh, I still have one chick on the side for for whatever reason. Yeah. One is just never enough for him. Right. And I don't know what he's not getting from that relationship because I see pictures on Facebook and like he had surgery on his knee and she was there and she was main chick. N- yeah, main chick. And yeah, she yeah. was nursing him and taking care of him. Yeah. You know, and. Like, he's very sneaky, but he would never put the side chick on his Facebook. Of course. You know, and of course, main chick is like, this is her, this is our kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, like, for whatever reason, it's just never enough for him. And I don't understand why. Like, maybe something's lacking in him. And he's, like, allegedly getting everything that he wants. I mean, he made a child. They live together. She makes good money. She's pretty much taking care of him. Like, I don't see what the big ordeal is, but, like, sometimes... Like it's just not enough for you. You always need more. Uh, friend, I, I well, no, he's not a friend. <laughs> but uh, I, I was talking, I was talking to somebody, and it was the same thing too. Like he, he's in a committed relationship, wife, two kids, mm. and he occasionally cheats on her. He, do- he doesn't go out to cheat, but he doesn't stop it either. And so, like, if he's out and like somebody hollers at him and like wants to hook up with him, he's like, okay. If if it's suitable, uh, I mean, if she's all right in in his right. eyes, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, and he'll do it. And I was just like, yo, like, why, like, it, you know, you're you've been with with this person for a long time. Like, why do you need to go out? He's like, yo, man, because because the the main chick is like, it's the same, it's the same person. Like, I need different shit. And then like, I was with it was with me and another person, another friend, and he was like, yo, but he's like. <laughs> um, my friend was like, but yo, but like, that's good steak at home, bro. He's like, yeah, but it's still steak. It's like, I need something different. I was like, but no, but you can make the steak in different ways, you know, and, and have it. Right. You know, it, it could, it's, the, it it's up, the same bitch. steak. Yeah. And do it have ways. He's like, yo, but he's like, but yo, but it's, a, but it's the same steak. It's like, I need something different. I'm just like, I feel you, but damn like like isn't there like loyal there it is like like loyalty you know what i'm saying like right. of course you're always gonna need like whoever you're married to there is a then this might sound harsh or whatever who, or who are you with there's always somebody quote-unquote better right you know what right. i'm saying they could be taller bigger breasts big ass smaller ass whatever whatever you're into there's somebody better than the one you're with 80 20 right but it's like I'm with this person and this person is right for me, even though there's somebody quote unquote better out there. Right. This person's right for me. So like, and, and that person is going to be lacking. So j- just take, oh, I don't want to say take the L, but like, <laughs> but that's it. Like the person's lacking in whatever the person is going to be lacking in. That's it. Right. That's it. <laughs> it's like, why do you need to be like, all right, I got everything good here. And now I'm also getting everything that I'm liking from this person from over here. I'm straight. Like, no, like that's, mm-hmm. the, that's cheat. That's cheating. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Like, like you're cheating the system. So I guess it was good to talk to the ladies because you kind of got like the perspective from the actual side chicks' perspective. You know, as opposed to like us sitting here trying to figure out like why men or women cheat. Like we kind of get why. I mean, we've all had temptation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But we're more of like on the monogamous spectrum of things. Not that I've never cheated. I've just. Have you ever cheated? Uh, in my like childhood. <laughs> like when you were like seven <laughs> like what do you mean <laughs> in my in my 20s when relationships didn't count okay. that that's convenient <laughs> what do you what do like you mean like i was younger like 22 23 okay that's great but di- uh, my question was did you cheat because like you like trying the answer to, like, is yes martini thank you <laughs> like why did you put this caveat like oh, when relationships didn't matter they of course didn't they matter did. i was like in college i was like all right 
well, the balls to the wall. Let's go. <laughs> you ain't doing it. Somebody else will. Bye. <laughs> All right then. But, but nah, then I grew up and I was it. like, okay, well, that's cool. But own it though. I so hurt somebody's fine. feelings and somebody hurt my feelings and I didn't like it. And yeah. then I was like, karma, karma knows me very well. Yeah. And I better start being nice to that cunt. So <laughs> whoa, <laughs> I did, oh, and man. I took it very seriously ever since. <laughs> oh man, I was like, oh. So our. our, our I know we just like really skimmed through the merit at first. I think are we done with that? Or? Yeah, I mean, basically they all stay together. We'll wait till you know what? Maybe we can have a deeper discussion after the reunion show next week. Yeah, when yeah. we have final final answers. Right. And I can like really go hard on saying, but yeah, merit at first is a reality show that comes on now Lifetime for a fucking reason. Um, it's the it's the parent company of whatever oh, of of the other things that was on whatever. And uh, <laughs> I don't care, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Just if you want to watch it, it's on Lifetime. It used to be on Wii and FYI and all these other fucking channels. Or you could just, you know, get on your coding and illegally download it like everybody else. Yeah. Or you can legally just go to the website and <laughs> and watch it there too. Jesus. Erroneous. <laughs> 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 That's funny because I use that word too. Like, Erroneous. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So, whatever you want to do. But. In bigger news, more reality shows are coming at us, and they're coming at us into the form of the real side chicks of Charlotte. Yes, yes, the real sh- side chicks of Charlotte. But you know, we're gonna. For those who don't know who Charlotte is, it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you. Um, well, I mean, sometimes people don't know that. No, no, no. no I'm saying I said thank you. People <laughs> in Australia are like Charlotte. They're like, oh, we have a city named Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, better hold on to my man, <laughs> fellas. Hold on to your wallets. It's time for a slow dance. <laughs> so we're gonna get into the uh, episode right now. Uh, not not the not the interview, but the actual episode, talking about like the side chicks and stuff. So, and also language barrier or whatever. Uh, pretty much a side chick is a mistress. Or as we call like sometimes they're called like the other woman or daddy's friend. And, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> and um, to put it in the nicest terms, it's a female that plays a role in a man's life, but is not his leading lady. That could be a best friend. <laughs> no. I don't like that. No, I know you don't like it. You don't like this whole episode. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable with it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. No, but that was, but that was in the series synopsis. Series synop- so synopsis. Rage. <laughs> <laughs> so, like we were saying before, there's two aspects to it: uh, not knowing you are one, and the other one is milking the opportunity or the side chick hustle. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, so there are some people. Yeah, they see black China, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, there are there are people that like generally do not know. And I was looking at this. Uh, uh, web um this article from uh, whisper.com which is an awesome app mm-hmm. that pretty much you can just shout out whatever like you'd like or any uh infide- topic. Uh, yeah any topic or infidelities and stuff and nobody can really uh, uh track you down so you can just ex- just explain it, uh, everything Whoa, what what whisper.com is like a secret website where people yeah, well, can it's, go not, to it's cheat? not a secret website like Ashley Madison <laughs> No, no, no. It's not like that. No, I mean it's just it's just a thing where you can just talk about like whatever you want to talk about, whether it's school, not to cut you off, but I will say this: mm-hmm. side chicks is not like a nouveau thing. Obviously, oh I mean, no, people have been cheating since the day of the dawn using of, their dick, the, the, like <laughs> the dawn of time. Yeah, but I feel like social media, media, and entertainment have made it more of not necessarily a positive thing. But more of just a well-known thing. Yeah, and acceptable and and tolerated actually. And th- right, and that's right. There's mm-hmm. there's so many just funny memes, like funny video mo- memes about like side chicks or side dudes or whatever, and they're hilarious. Like when your girl asks for your password, like for your phone, and you like jump off the building. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Like, zoom. Like, yeah, like they're like hilarious, but at the same time, we're ma- we're making we're making light and making fun of like a real issue. Right. But, um, but I mean, it's still hilarious, though. <laughs> like those memes, they're, they're really funny. No, but you're right. That, that's a very good uh, point to to bring up. But but no, yeah. But Whisper dot com is uh, the app. Whisper is just you know whatever. Like oh, like I'm in love with my ex and blah blah. blah and like he, post, and he post doesn't know. Post, yeah, post it and stuff. But but it, but it talk about it but it talk about any any subject. But oh, okay. I, I'm more mainly uh, interested in the relationships and stuff. But this one was saying like. I mean, I'm not going to read all of them, but it was like tw- 21 totally honest side chick confessions that may shock you. And it was saying that we tend to think of side chicks and think of 
think of the girl as being a homewrecker or promiscuous. Mm -hmm. But side chicks are humans, too, and they're not always bad people. After all, love is complicated. These side chicks, these side chick confessions might make you might make you see them in a different light. Um, One of them said, I settled with I settled with being a side chick because I didn't want to break up a family. The guy ended up leaving his family for another girl. Uh, (laughs) I feel happy as a side chick until I buy him gifts and realize they will never see the light of day. Damn. (laughs) Um, I just realized I'm this guy's side chick and that he and his ex never broke up. I feel dumb as fuck. Um, my my boyfriend of three weeks doesn't even have my number saved. Looks like I'm the side chick. Oh man, my heart just broke for her a little bit. Uh, are you being sarcastic? No. I'm oh, not. Okay. <laughs> God, am I that big? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in my twenties and have and I'm in my twenties and have had five boyfriends, but I've never been asked out on a date. I'm not their main girlfriend. Well, that's because you give it up chick. too easily. Next. Wow. Oh, jeez. I'm serious. Some things you got to learn on your own. Mm -mm. Why doesn't anybody want to take me out again? Well, because you already gave up the pussy and it probably sucked. Next. Whoa, damn. You don't even know who this person is. I know her situation. I've heard it before. Okay. That's what the situation is. Okay. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Live and learn. (laughs) That's a good song. Um,. Not that that happened to me. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, I'm tired of being the side chick. I'm worth loving. I am more. In- She's getting it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I am more interested in being a side chick than a main chick because I cannot commit to a relationship. I get that. I can understand that. If that's your thing. That's, that's, that's interesting. But yeah, but it, 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 it goes on. It goes on like that. And uh, yeah, so there's there's a different side. And if you and like you said with that other one that you know she's now getting it Mm -hmm. there are uh, from elitedaily.com there are six signs you should look at to know that you're a side chick chick. that you may be a side chick you may be a side chick if (laughs) number one he doesn't take you out on dates (laughs) oh i don't know if anybody watches insecure and not that the girl so lawrence i think his name is in the show uh isa isa and lawrence broke up last season sorry not that like I like talk about relationships in like the form of shows because I feel like people understand them better. So oh, that makes Issa, sense. Issa and Lawrence broke up last season because Lawrence, I mean, because Lawrence wasn't pulling his weight in the relationship and Issa cheated with one of her ex-boyfriends mm. and it was a mistake. And then like Lawrence got his shit together and he got a better job. And then she's like, oh, my God, baby, I love you. But then he like find out that Lawrence was smashing the other dude. And he was like, oh, you fucking cheated on me. And he lost his shit. He's like, I'm out, bitch. And he left. So this season... He's been fucking this girl who like tried to holler at him last season. But last season he was like, nah, man, I got a girl. Sorry. Thanks for the compliment. Gotta go. He was real honest. But then he was like, yo, fuck it. She was like being real nice to me, whatever. I'm, I'm going to go over there. So he's smashing her, this, this, and that. And then he went back to his boy and his boy was like, yo, like you smashing her every weekend. Like, why don't, why don't you take her out? And he's like, uh, and he's like, well, she's not going to think that you're like serious about her unless you actually take her on a date. And he finally did. But does he want to be serious about her? Because it seems like she's a rebound. I don't think we. I don't think he knows what he wants. But the point is, is that it is a well-known fact that if he's not taking you out on a date, then you're probably a side chick or not serious. Yeah, or not serious. Yeah, yeah. Because it seems like she's a rebound to me. I hope but. y'all got all that. Number two. And and it's and it's and but what you brought up is interesting because I saw this in another like uh, video where like men will men will go for like new pussy. And women will go back to old dick because like because we feel like if we recycle, it's better than adding more to your list. Yeah, that's the damn and, truth. And and that's and that's literally what the person Cause like, said y'all, too. Because like first of all, first and it goes, how many people do you sleep with? It's like, well, what do I say? Every time I broke up with somebody, like I added two more people to the list. Like, uh, no, I just went back and recycled the old ones. <laughs> that way, it doesn't count. <laughs> Stupid, uh, it counts, but no, but I, but, but I that's think that's how math works, Martini. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but um, and it's uh, and it's also because like th- the reason why you go back is because the person has been vetted, right? In your yeah, I mean more or less. I mean you don't know where he's been. And I'm not saying go like and don't strap up, but you don't know where he's been since you've left. That's but true too, yeah. I mean, it's familiar, and he knows you. Yeah. So you, you can go over there in your sweatpants and your, like your old T-shirt, and he's just gonna be like, "Cool." 
<laughs> you don't have to like put makeup on and get dressed up and all that shit. Right, right, right. Uh, number two, you have never met his friends. Mm. <laughs> number three, he only texts you during booty call hours. You up? Question mark. <laughs> hey, big head. Uh, number four, <laughs> there's no social media evidence of the two of you together. Hmm. Number. <laughs> 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 Whoa. See previous episodes. <laughs> All of that's changed. So okay. <laughs> that's the no. You do, you can't lump your uh, situation with this. Anyway, next. Jesus. Before number five. Even more enraged. <laughs> number five. He has a wall up around you. What? Oh, one. like emotional wall? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did he build one? <laughs> what is he, Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, don't men, most men have a wall up? <laughs> Jeez. What is he, freaking uh, Wilson from Home Improvement? That's a throwback. But, um, uh, <laughs> uh, and number six, you're just not a priority to him. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's that. And then, of course, there is, um, the other the other aspect people people are well aware and they're milking the opportunity and it's the aka side chick hustle and there's of course our favorite website elite daily it says uh where there was reasons reasons being a side chick is underrated and i want to i want and I, want, I want your uh opinion on this uh you don't. jen <laughs> go ahead oh. uh hold on let me just how's it underrated yeah I mean, I guess if you have commitment issues or if you have, like, a life and you don't want to have to, like, you know, weave a man into it. Because, look, the fact of the matter is that when people get into, like, serious relationships and and, and or marriage, a lot of things do change. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't go out the same way. You can't. This sounds so fucking 1920s. Not that you can't go out, but you sometimes have another person to think about, like, you know oh, I want to go to the club tonight. Be like, oh, I wonder what my husband thinks of that. You know, or maybe your husband wants to go with you. Who the fuck knows? But, I mean, I don't know. So I guess, like, if you have, like, those kind of issues, being, like, a side chick isn't really a bad ordeal because, you know, it's just like, yo, can I see you tonight? Be like, nope, actually, you can't. Girls night. Peace. <laughs> oh, man. But then when it's 20 degrees out and it's cold, who's holding you, motherfucker? Whoa. I'm just saying. Jeez. I don't know. All right, so yeah, so it says, uh, you know, uh, 21 reasons why being a side chick is severely underrated. And number one. Who wrote this article? Elite Daily. Wow. Oh, uh, is it a man or a woman you yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, you get all the benefits, none of the bullshit. One would hope. Number yeah. two, you're not the one he's lying to. Okay. <laughs> number three. Uh, you, don't have to print, you don't have to pretend to be interested in anything. That's true. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are, are, are we are we turning Jennifer? <laughs> is, I, is she seeing the other side? Number four. You're never expected to pay but for that's, anything. It depends though. That may not be true. Not to back to backtrack a second. Okay, good. Because sometimes men are attracted to women because they actually are paying attention to what they say and care about what they say. Mm-hmm. Like oh, like how was your financial job today? Like, did you do anything with stocks and bonds? Is it like, I mean, I'm assuming he has money um, or whatever. Did you save any lives today, honey? Like sometimes like wives just don't care anymore because they don't have time to. And not that they don't care. It's just like, you, they just get a simple, like, how was your day? And like some men may want someone to actually like want that wants to listen and wants to hear what they have to say. So they have to at least like pretend to be interested. Mm-hmm. You don't have to really give a fuck about what's going on in his life, but like most people, men and women included, they do want attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if it's not just for, like, Felicio, then they're just like, hey, please care about me. I need to be loved. I'm not being loved at home. I need to be loved somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a necklace if you listen to my problems. <laughs> She's like, okay. Wow. Uh, number four, you're never expected to pay for anything. Number five, he's always coming to you. Number six, you don't have to share your bed. Oh. <laughs> She's like, well, where do I sign up? Uh, <laughs> number seven, you don't even have to meet his friends. Number eight, or his parents. Mm. Number nine. No, I don't. I like. <laughs> I don't know why I sound so interested. In <laughs> <You're> like, <"Ooh."> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I was like, I'm starting to see these benefits, but I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> per se, I just want to put that on the record. <laughs> in case my boyfriend's like, hold up a second. <laughs> 
Uh, number nine, you don't have to worry about where it's going. Number ten, there is no talking. But that's if you don't know that you're. I mean, if you know you're a side check. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number eleven, you never have to see him in the daylight. Jesus. Uh, number twelve, you never have to worry about looking good when you wake up. Hashtag vamp life. D- number thirteen, you don't have to explain where you stand with him to your friends. Number fourteen, number fourteen, you never have to worry or care about what he's doing. Number fifteen, it's on your terms. Number sixteen, you can always say no. Number seventeen, there may not be much moral high ground, but you definitely have an inch on him. Um, number eighteen, it's an automatic ego boost. No man is going to risk cheating on his girlfriend with an ugly chick. Mm. Number nineteen, you don't care if you don't love him. Number twenty, you're never waiting on you're never waiting by the phone. And number twenty one, there's no breakup. Is that it? That is it. Hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think we should let the audience or listeners hear our interview with the ladies. No, no, yeah, we definitely will. have to form their own opinion. They're, de- they're definitely will. And also, there was a uh, question that we asked um, about, you know, well, well, not even a question that we asked about to, to the women, but we asked ourselves, like, why would you want, why would you want to be a side chick as opposed to the main chick? And then I found this article that you can definitely read later um, when we post this up where um, the title of the article is, I was the other woman, but now I'm the wife. Mm. So, so yeah, that's, that, that's big. <laughs> but yeah, so the moment you've been waiting for is going to be the interview with the real side chicks of Charlotte. And uh, we hope you enjoy. So here it is. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, Martini. And Jen. And this is uh, Bed Love Beyond. And we are here with the real side chicks of Charlotte. How are you ladies hey, doing? Hey, ladies. Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 All right. So definitely people have been wondering about the show. They, I remember seeing a lot of memes think, thinking that this was going to be like a fake show because there's always memes talking about side chicks and all that stuff. But this is actually as real as it gets and right. it's, it's going to be a, a pretty serious show and and i want to know of course you guys are from charlotte and uh charlotte is nicknamed the queen city so do you guys believe that you're living like queens absolutely right. we all wear crowns over here oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy why would you say that you feel just because we have a name as a side chick that we don't wear a crown? No, I'm not. I'm just asking you. I, I don't. <laughs> I, just answered, I just answered your question with a question. There you go. <laughs> no, because um, definitely side chicks get a, uh, a, a negative, bad rap. Yeah, bad rap and negative connotation. So, what do you want your show to prove? Like, what, what do you want the show to tell the audience? What, like, the other side of the side check. We're basically just bringing, you know, um, our everyday lives to an actual TV network instead of it just being based on us telling, you know, like our friends or, you know, um, just family members. It's, it's more or less so you can relate for us to bring awareness to stuff that's been going on to what's still going on. Um, we just actually have the actual title of a side chick. But, I mean, side chicks have been praised from many different shows all the way, you know, to Olivia Pope, all the way down to... Um, being Mary Jane, uh, Jocelyn Hernandez. So it's it's more or less to, to just bring you into our lives and just to let you know what's going on. So briefly, like, we have listeners who are, like, in the Netherlands and London and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Can you just give, like, a brief kind of idea of, like, what the life in Charlotte is like? Um, Charlotte is pretty dope. It's, it's really growing. It's a nice city. You have um, a lot of entertainment there as far as, like, comedy, um, upcoming artists as well. Um, you have a lot of people that's building certain platforms for themselves. Uh, of course, we have, like, uh, NASCAR, uh, CIAA, as well as um, the All-Star Game that will be coming in 2018. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, being with the side chick stuff, are these men seeking you or are you seeking them? Sometimes we just run into them at the gas station, you know? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, hey, what's up? Straight up. Then, and, and they, yeah, they just come to you and it's like, hey, what's going on? Mm-hmm. But so, okay, so when you find out that they're like with somebody else, like, do you pursue? you like, all right, fine, whatever. Or, or. No, I mean, you still pursue because the feelings are already there. Like, mm-hmm. we find out at the late at a late time. So it's just like, it's not our fault. It's always the men's fault. Mm-hmm. Well, not always their fault as well, but. 
most likely it's their fault. <laughs> they don't tell us. They don't tell us about the other girl. Right, right, right. We find out our on our own. Okay. So. Ah, okay. So no one's ever really upfront with you saying, "Look, I'm either married or I have a girl, but Unless I'm interested in real, you." Then yeah. No. Sometimes you may meet people that are keep it a band, and then you decide whether or not right. You but wanna... it's very rare. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. No, because a, a lot of our. Uh, listeners and our fans we, you know we put th- these questions out and they're like what are you gonna interview them like oh no i need we need to yeah. get these questions out because some of them these, <laughs> the questions were pretty f- savage because <laughs> no no seriously because they feel that you guys are just like like just holes or like i can't believe they're doing this but like thank you for bringing that to light that sometimes you may not know and you're just like oh snap like how, how come you didn't tell me but like why first- is it like why is it that we got to be labeled as hoes because we're side chicks like we're not just we're not messing with multiple men Mm-hmm. Like that's not it. a portion of your family are probably side chicks, or they mm-hmm. probably seek. I'm not, no no disrespect. No, but no, no, no. A lot of women operate, so a lot of the people that are given a backlash have even done it, and they're they um, you know, people are judge. They they're judging, but they wouldn't want no one to judge them, and they've done it. I hear so that a lot of people have done. I'm not gonna say everybody has. Yeah. Now, like, when you when you're with somebody whoever it is you're with are you with that person and another person especially when you know that they have somebody else or are you just like this is my dude whatever it depends on the situation okay <laughs> I, like I, I don't fit. know why but I understand that I was like okay it depends <laughs> I got that <laughs> and is there like a certain type of dude who you would like be okay to be I hate using the word side check because I know that's like the title of your show but but okay, so is there a certain type of dude? The real in front of it. All right, the, uh, the real side chick. Is there a certain type of man that you'd be seeking? Like, does he have to be able to like provide something for you, or could it be like dude from up the block who plays ball at East Third Street? I mean, First of all, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, as long as like we're taken care of and we got them coins and we're spoiled, you know, that's all that matters. But another thing is, I don't know no female that's going to talk to any guy that's not doing nothing for them. And if you do, then you lame. You need to level up. <laughs> because <laughs> the men are to provide. Okay. So if you can't provide, capital P, mm. then it's nothing that we can discuss. Okay. All right. So do you have anything on your end that you want to ask? Because we have some questions from like the, the listeners that maybe, would you guys be down to answer? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go on with it. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Do you have any friends who are married or in monogamous relationships and are aware that you are a real side chick? And do they trust you around their man? And how do they feel about that? Which question? It's like, no, just like, do you have a friend who's married or who's in a monogamous relationship? And they know what you do, that, you, that you're that you okay or whatever with being someone's side chick. And how do they feel with you being around their man? Let's <laughs> <laughs> be real. I mean, you know, I haven't had any issues with that. I mean, but people have insecurities. And before the show, they were hating. Right. They were side-eyeing before. So the show the show doesn't make a difference. They were having those, those ill feelings before. So I don't think the show made a difference. Right. All right. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, are you guys prepared for the backlash that you'll probably receive once this show comes out? We We've pray been for receiving it. Really? Yeah, but it's going to be serious. You know, it's going to be nationwide, so you, you're going to get it. Worldwide. Yeah, but y'all know what's <laughs> so funny, though? It's okay. because we're already getting backlash now, so okay. I honestly don't think it's going to make a difference once the show pops. It's just going to be more, 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 more backlash. Yeah, but yeah. You got some of us that don't even look at the comments, mm-hmm. and I try to make them look at the comments, <laughs> and they don't even read the comments. I read the comments because I want to know what's going on. Right, I right. Know, what, you, what you got to say about me? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. All right, so if you, so you're with this dude, right? And you know he's either married or whatever, or you find out that he's married or whatever, and there's something that like, you need him there for, for whatever reason. And he's got to tend to his family or his wife or whatever the case may be. Like, do you feel a certain way about that? Or do you understand where your place is? Well, for one, some of us don't deal with married men. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. we, don't, we, don't, we don't break up married men homes, but we'll mess up some apartments, though. But <laughs> I, I can't speak for the ones that do talk to married men, but I don't. All right. Okay. Speaking of breaking up some apartments, as I'm sure you all know as women, we can be quite vicious 
when it comes to like being overprotective over what we claim is ours. So, um, have you ever encountered a crazy woman or like, do you expect now to like, when you're going to be on TV to encounter more crazy women who might suspect that you had like dabbled in their pot, so to speak? Um, not recently, but you know, in my, my day and age, um, <laughs> I mean, y'all seem I snapped, a, right? Like no, girls I, go I crazy. One snap. I had a woman contact me and she, she said, woman to woman, why would I, whatever. And like I told her, I said, I did not walk down the aisle to make those vows with you. Your husband did. He owes you an explanation. If it wasn't me, it would be someone. Even after me, it's going to be someone. So that's the person you need to talk to, not me. And please do not call me anymore. That's real. All right. Damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but look, you a man. You ain't never had a side chick? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Was your girl doing everything she was supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Not to hate on y'all, but I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> okay. All men ain't like that. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. No, absolutely. No, I mean, yeah, there's, meme, good, there's memes good. and videos all the time about that stuff. So, I mean. Now, tell, me, tell me when you been with your girl, you ain't seen a bad, a bad chick, uh, you got <laughs> I know you got tempted. I mean, there's badass chicks out there. What, 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 so you, we're in I'm New York. Hu- I'm <laughs> human. <laughs> you ain't get nobody else your phone number while you was in a relationship. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Nobody else got the time of day. No. Okay, well, I salute you. I ain't even going to go there with you. (laughs) 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 Oh, I remember you had pulled up one of the quotes that you wanted to ask about. In the meantime, while he's looking that up, do you guys want to introduce yourself and maybe shout out your social media where people can find you in the meantime? Sure, absolutely. Hi, my name is Shador. My Instagram name is Shador underscore Blackwell, and my Facebook is just Shador Blackwell. That's S-H-A-D-O-R. And if you can't, Spell Blackwell, then you don't need to be on my page. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Storm. You can follow me at I am Storm with two eyes. Hey, this is Jalisa. Um, you can follow me at Jalisa Official, J U L L I S A Official. Okay, I have a lot of followers in the Netherlands on Snapchat. So okay. I'm going to say hey to them. <laughs> and those that aren't following me on Snapchat, follow me at Brit Big, B R I T T B I G G. And my Instagram is the real bricks with two X's. Cool. I'm Anisha, and you can follow me at Nisha Rav on Instagram. I'm Tiffany Nicole. You can follow me on IG at Tiffany N One C O L E, and on Facebook at Tiffany Nicole R S O C. Hi, it's Lynette. You can follow me on Instagram at L Lynette. That's E L L E L Y N E T T E. Hey, this is Deanna Lee. You can follow me on Instagram at Deanna underscore Lee. Yeah, so I found this quote. You guys were on uh, Power 98 uh, Morning Madhouse, and one of you guys, I, I couldn't figure out who, but it said, you might look at it as a side chick, but I look at it as a main chick as well because I'm getting the same treatment as you. We can go sideways, up, down, left, right, and we can do all kinds of sides. But if I'm getting the same treatment, it's not really the same qualifications of what you call a side chick. <laughs> it's our man. <laughs> Yeah. Can you? <laughs> no, when I read that, I was like, wow. So can you please just, just, I mean, you said a lot, but can you just please elaborate on that? I mean, it just basically means sometimes you're thrown into a situation and you're blindsided just as well as, as the other woman may be. Um, usually, nine times out of ten, a guy is telling both parties what they want to hear and it sounds good. You know what I mean? So you're not really thinking um, about what's going on because you don't have an intuition to like, oh, well, it might be somebody else because everything's going so good. So that's why I said it could be a left or right or up and down. Like you can't really always say, oh, yeah, you're a side chick. I'm a side chick, but I might not know it. Just like you may never know. Just like it's a lot of people that say I've never been a side chick. But to be honest, you don't know if you've really never been a side chick. They might have just kept it a secret so well by the time y'all stopped talking, it looked like he done went and found somebody else, but she was there the whole time you was. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was basically just saying – it's just a title like you're calling me a side chick, but I could call you one, too, because you chose to stay when you found out and I chose to stay when I found out about you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it just really depends on how the situation plays out. It's always different scenarios. OK, yeah. so basically what she's saying is main <laughs> chicks and side chicks get the same treatment because we both get lies and penises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The ingredients to any good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> um. Have any of have any of you wanted to be wanted to I guess upgrade to a main chick? First of all, there's some of us that's been, been main chicks. So. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, we've we've all been main chicks before, but basically we can't. We're not here to talk about being a main chick because right. we're here to bring the people that's like in denial or you know thinking that we're just homebreakers to let them know like what's really going on in the house home of a in the household. Excuse me, of a side chick, but not so much of. Yes. Oh, running around side chick power like let's run through the streets wild and crazy <laughs> so what can our listeners expect to see on the show because what i'm getting from you guys is that some of you know your side chick some of you don't so i'm i'm not like super confused but i'm a little confused as per what is actually going to be on the show so what can we look forward to i mean just a step in i mean just a, a look into everybody's life mm-hmm. um like you said, some people may not know. Some people do know. So um, you just kind of get everything in front of you. Everybody, this is not like Bad Girls Club. Like we're not all living in a house and we're like going out together. You know, we're right. not doing none of that. Everybody's situation is different, but you just got to stay tuned and um, just wait for it. Cool. Is it being filmed now? Or? We're, yeah, cool. we're currently, you know, working on a lot of things right now. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Is there any other fan questions or mm, that's it? No. Um, is there any more? As much as they be running their mouth, y'all sure? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you guys want to tell us that you think uh, the listeners should know, that you think that's important to know, that maybe somebody hasn't asked you guys yet? Because I'm sure you guys have run through a whole parade of questions since you've been here. I just want to say watch the show because you know what? Whatever that bull crap was that you was talking, it may come back to hunt you. Mm. You know what I mean? You may like us, you may hate us, but at the end of the day, it's gonna prove we're gonna be rooting for you. Who knows? You know? You know? Anybody else wanna say anything? Anybody else wanna say anything? Um, good or bad, we're sitting. Um, I just wanna say shout out to Mr. Seven O because shout that's out. the person that really it was his song Side Chick that really even gave us the opportunity to get a platform. J Way Sosa, excuse me. Um I just want to say, you know, we're just really excited. Like, we have a lot more to show, a lot more to grow, um, a lot of brands to be expressed for people to know about. And um, we're not just, you know, just side chicks. We are women with feelings, and we are women that have entrepreneurships and really want to do things. And we're just, we're on stepping stones right now. So um, we just love the support and the hate at the same time. We appreciate it both. All press is good press, right? All right, cool. Well, I mean, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you guys for guys speaking so with much. us today. We look forward to seeing you guys. <laughs> I know the party ain't over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. All right, All right. Thank you. Peace. Yeah, so there is the interview. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, ladies, once again for allowing us to interview you. I hope you guys I hope you ladies had a good time. It was it was a very interesting talk and thank you for that for that one uh Girl, I'm sorry I didn't like get all your names, but um, the one that was talking about how side chicks are being pretty much praised now in uh, in television because like Jennifer and I at the beginning of the uh, podcast we were talking about like yeah the memes and stuff making it making a light making it light subject, but also what one of the side chicks said that in the shows that we watch we praise. Uh, side chicks she was talking about being mary jane and she brought up scandal i used to watch scandal and of course yeah everybody wants olivia and fitz to be together but we're like yo olivia has been boning the president and the president has a wife but we want olivia to win and that and she is definitely a side chick uh no matter how uh independent and strong she is that and that everybody uh loves her about it like nah she is a side chick that's she's a side chick (laughs) you know but anyway but yeah so again uh, we're gonna ask the audience what do you guys think about um side chicks and stuff like that like do do you agree do you not agree has this interview showed you a different light into what uh, a side chick means to you now but but before we get into our like whole social media stuff uh jennifer wants to uh shout out the real side chicks uh, uh media posts yeah so definitely thank you to the ladies of the real side chicks of charlotte um it was definitely an eye-opening interview and uh, they can be found on Facebook at The Real Side Chicks of Charlotte. And I believe also on Instagram at The Real Side Chicks of Charlotte. And um, I think there are some YouTube videos. I didn't think you just have to like kind of see what they are. I know they've done some interviews that are on there. But um, we'll post some pictures on our website of them that we have. So Brittany is one of the girls we spoke to. And it's at The Real Bricks, B-R-I-X-X. Diana is at Diana underscore Lee. Julissa is at Julissa Official. 
Lynette is at L E L L E L Y N E T T E. Uh, Shador is at Shador underscore Blackwell. Storm is I I am Storm. Um, double I. Tiffany is at Tiffany Nicole. And uh, Nicole is spelled with a one instead of an I. And Nisha is at Nisha Rav. N I S H A R A V. And uh, I thank them. And right now the show is n- in its. The, well, they're filming the first season. Yeah, it's in production. Um, and right now they're kind of on a press tour trying to get their name out there. And um, I guess to get picked up by a network, they're being looked at by a bunch of different networks. And I guess they haven't agreed on which one yet. But if you follow them on social media, I'm sure they will keep you up to date as per where you can see them, you know, full time. And I think uh, on the website it said there's going to be like at least three seasons. You can get some more background information on IMDb. I saw some stuff. Um, but uh it's entertainment, you know, but it's also real life. So, you know, shit, you might learn something. What to do, what not to do, whatever angle you want to take it from, you know. <laughs> yeah. And we'll definitely have all their uh, social media stuff on the website so you can follow them directly in case, you know, you you missed out on any of the spellings or you don't know how they actually spelled it and stuff like that. So, like, don't worry about that. So, again, yes. So, uh, also, um, song of the, we have a song of the day. So, please, Jen, what is the song of the day? Uh, actually, the ladies actually oh, more that's or less... Right chose the song of the day for us yes um they said that um 704 is the name of the gentleman mr 704 they referred to him as and he has a song named side chick we listened to the song we're getting crunk in here for a second <laughs> um so there is a song and a movement apparently and i guess it's uh you know helping boost this movement um so 704 side chick is the song of the day and we'll throw that up too again uh do do you are you are you down with the side chick stuff? Are you not? What's going on? So please email us at bellovebeyond at gmail dot com, or you can go to our website so you can see all our articles www dot com. The phone number is two zero one. You can uh, call us or text us at two zero one eight six two eight bed. That is two zero one eight six two eight two three three. Facebook. You can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash bedlovebeyond. And also, you can hit us up on our social media stuff at bedlovebeyond on Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, and YouTube. All right? I am Martini. I am still done. <laughs> All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll see you guys. Peace.